Hello, my loves, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from September 24th to September 30th, 2019. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. I hope that you're doing all, all right. I hope that you're having a great week. Uh, I want to thank all of you for the love and support that you have been giving me. Thank you for all the donations. And of course, I want to thank all of you for the postcards and the letters that I have been receiving as well. I will do a separate video on that in a very, time, in a very short time, very soon. Uh, so I want to thank everybody uh, for that. And uh, for those of you that do want to send a postcard or a letter, underneath the video, there will be my PO, oh, my PO box as well. And uh, for the new subscribers that are here, welcome to my channel. I'm very happy that you're all here with me. And again, thank you again for all the love and support. As I always tell you, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here on YouTube. So um, for those of you that do not know, I channel messages through my higher self and the divine. And I use the cards as a tool to give you messages. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive uh your Aquarius reading and of course when I do some live streaming so now let's get started in your reading I have the singing bowl the reason why I use this is to clear my energy and my space and to clear yours as well okay so uh, if you have anything that you're carrying heavy within you all you have to do is when I ring it take a deep breath in and when you exhale you exhale through your solar plexus and let it go to Mother Gaia so let's get started Perfect. Now I'll take my spray. I will spray Archangel Michael, my crystals, my cards, and you and me. This is sage in a bottle. Perfect. Uh, I love it. And uh, so now let's get into your reading. I have some channeled messages for you. So now uh, what I see here, there's going to be a lot of movements for you, decisions to make. And uh, some of you are going to be traveling. Others of you, you're going into this quest. Uh, where uh, it's a spiritual quest for some of you. There's going to be a lot of movements and decisions to be making. Some of you has to also do with a union, okay? And opportunities of money. There's a lot of opportunities, okay, that's coming towards you. And they're asking you to choose wisely, okay? Because uh, some things will be uh, rejected, I feel. Other things will be open towards you. And you really have to go within to find the answers, okay? Uh, I see that there's a completion of some com kind of completion taking place of, uh, okay, because I see a lot of nines here for you. Um, for those of you that have been, you know, uh, wanting more money or, you know, uh, wanting to have more of money and opportunity, whether it is, whatever it is that for, that's strong for you, I see that there's an abundance coming in after the harvest. There's something, something about, something about where you've been working hard. Uh, some of you have been, you know, some of you have been stuck where you've been having a lot of fears about money, not enough money coming in. I feel there's completions taking place, but again, they're asking you to choose wisely. It's important, okay? And to stand in your power. And there's something that's coming into balance for you, okay? And I feel this is taking place in the month of October. There's a new friendship here, a new proposition, a new adventure, a new uh, business venture, a, or a love relationship as well. There is a um, relationship based on the heart chakra, okay? Both people coming in in the heart chakra. This is a sacred union, and I do see a lot of celebrations taking place for you, okay, at this time. Now, remember, it will not be for everybody, but you'll know if this resonates with you. What the universe wants you to know is that they want you to remain patient, okay? Uh, 14 equals to a 5, which is changes coming in. Whatever that you have been sold, sowing, whatever you've been manifested, whatever it is that you've been working on, whether it's the new moon rituals, the full moon rituals, things are, whatever you wished for, 
things are going to come into play is what I see very strongly here, okay? But you need to remain patient and that's and have faith as well, okay? This is what uh, is being told to me for the week. And your affirmation is humor. And it says, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And your work of light is leap. And it says, you go first, the universe will catch you. Okay? I also took out three Oracle Cards decks. And what I want you to do with this is that you ask all the questions you need. And at the end of the reading, we're going to take a look at them together. Now, you could choose by deck or you could choose intuitively. Okay? So the first deck is Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is the first deck. So deck number one is Archangel Michael. Deck number two is Ask Angels. And deck number three is the Lover's Oracle deck, okay? And also what I did take out also for you is the crystal cards. Now, um, I'm going to say this again for those of you. Uh, it's important to get this book, okay, of crystals and cards. Uh, some, you know, crystals are expensive. Uh, you can get them. It's fine. And some, uh, But the thing is that sometimes maybe you cannot find a crystal, whatever the reason is, depending where you are. And if that's the case, these crystal, these cards come in handy because as if you put an intention on it, okay, they and you meditate with them, they still work as the actual crystal, okay. And this book is called the Healing Oracle Crystal Reading Cards. This is from Rachel Charman, and this is how the book should look like, and it comes with cards, okay. And this is on Amazon.com. And so I pulled out two cards for you, and this is where the healing takes place. This is what these crystals will do for you. If for those of you that do want to advance, for you, those of you that want to heal and go through the process, okay? I also took out an animal spirit guide card for you. And The Secret Language of Light is also another uh, very important book to get from Amazon.com. This is from Denise Jarvie. Okay, and it's transmissions from your soul. So there's, uh, so this is, I, I chose a card for you, but usually there's a meditation in this. I do not tell you the meditation part because it would be too long to say it. But uh, like I said, if you could get this book and let's say whatever cards I pull out during the week, this is what you should focus on and do the meditation that comes with it. Okay, if those of you that want this, this is the secret language of light. And they're really beautiful cards. So now we'll get started with your reading. Okay. I will take one, one deck here to do the Celtic cross for you to see what's happening in the moment, what's going to be happening in the past, what happened to you in the past, if they want to show me, and what's coming to you in the near future, if you claim it. Okay. And then I'll use this deck here next to me to clarify the cards. So let's get started with your reading. Now I will shuffle the cards for you for a bit because I pre-shuffled them. I'm going to shuffle them again. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's also good if you have Mercury, uh, Jupiter, or Saturn, or Chiron, uh, or the North Node in Aquarius. Okay, whenever you see this reading will be the right time for you. Now, I channel a lot of messages, so sometimes what happens is that you're going to have to come back a few times to watch the video. Why? Because every time you come back, you will get a different message than what you heard the first time. And then if you want to come back at the end of the week to watch it again, to tell me if it resonated with you or if those things that I said happened, you just leave them in the comments, okay? So let's get started. I'm very happy to be here with you uh, on this Tuesday. This is your time. And whatever time it takes for me to do the video is what it is, okay? For those of you that do not long that do not like long videos, then I'm not the reader for you, okay? Uh, as I said, I channel messages, and this is very important as I'm here to help the collective with uh, with unblocking themselves uh, for clarity and bringing them through the dark night. Okay, so cut the cards in three. So this is for. Aquarius, son. Okay, Aquarius, from our uh, September twenty fourth to September thirtieth, two thousand nineteen. Let's get started. What are the messages? Oh, right away, you got two cards off the bat. You got the Seven of Swords energy here. This is, uh, could be you, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini energy here. This is is um, someone around you. 
that you cannot trust, someone around you that is doing something that is not right. This is someone from your past, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is what's crossing you, okay? Now, it could be that there's someone around you that's not being truthful to you from your past, or this is you that's not speaking to someone or trying to keep something away it doesn't mean it's a bad thing it just means that sometimes i'm gonna have to go deeper into the reading to see what's going on here for you okay uh but it is uh secrets from the past is what they should, what they're telling me here now we'll see what it happened what is the root of the situation or the, or the of the problem or the issue or whatever it is that is bringing in the seven of uh Oh boy, I got a lot of cards that fell. And I can't take them because there's too many cards. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's go back because there's too many cards. And I can't take seven cards to go with the, that one card that I want. What is the message here? Okay. This could be with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. It's reversed. So here, there's an opportunity that's been missed. Some kind of opportunity that you missed, or uh, some kind, yeah, some kind of opportunity that was missed. Okay, we'll we'll see what what the situation is here. What is crowning you at this moment? This could be a uh, job, a raise, a person coming in, um, something that was missed. One, one, one is strong in your reading as well, okay? What is crowning Aquarius? Please show me. What is crowning Aquarius? Okay. The Ten of Swords. This is the ending of a situation. Ending of uh, people back. This is an ending. The 10 is always an ending, a new beginning, but there's still a process of healing yourself where you feel depleted. You can't take it anymore, okay? There's been too many secrets, too many lies. Someone from the past, an opportunity that was missed here for you. Um, it means there's an ending of an era of that kind of energy, okay, as well. What is the past all about? Oh, past. Yeah, so uh, some, I got the Six of Swords reversed. This Like this opportunity that was missed, whether it's from a earth energy or energy, air energy like you. There's something that uh, was, you some some like relocation for you or moving away from a situation it is not possible. It, it did not take place, okay? Because there's a delay here because that, there is an ending that's taking place. And, and some of you are going through this darkest, hour right now okay i do see i do sense that okay uh we're gonna get what's in the near future you got the eight of pentacles taurus virgo or capricorn working hard in details you're working hard in details they're asking you not to give up uh, some of you are really working in details and weaving things in your life okay and balancing things in your life is where i'm picking up very strong some of you this has to do with finances or with someone that you're dealing with now, let's see what else is going on here for you. So you're dealing with a Capricorn. If you're not dealing with a Capricorn, you're dealing with Saturn 100%, okay? Saturn in the South Node is about karmic releasing, purging. And Saturn uh, in Capricorn talks about finances. So sometimes Saturn... Uh, being like a father figure, okay, very strict, but it's also a very good planet. I'm not saying it's the only strict planet. It, it gives Saturn is a beautiful planet, but what it does is that it'll make you do something over and over and over and over and over again until you get it right, okay. Some of you are dealing with someone from your past that is a Capricorn, or you have this in your chart, someone that you're bonded to. I see here for some of you. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. We're going to need to clarify the cards. But I do see that there's... Uh, in how you're feeling at this moment, okay? So patience is needed here, is what they're saying. What's around you? Beautiful. Your own card. This is you, Aquarius. You're a blessing. The star card. 
So there is a healing and a blessing that's coming around you. This is what is coming around you. And some of you are staying stable amongst amongst everything that's been happening in your life. Uh, you are staying stable at this, like you are in a stable position, um, you know, but uh, you're staying strong is what they're telling me. There is a healing and a blessing taking place. Now we're going to see in the hopes and fear area. Too many cards. In the hope, in your hopes and fears. Too many cards. Oh, sorry, I can't take all these cards. One card, please. Oh, there it is. You're feeling stuck. So a lot of you are going through like, okay, uh, the dark night of the soul. And that's when you're really stuck and things are not moving and there's a lot of like chaos around you because there's things that are not working out and every, there's, every, there's every situation that's out there to get you and you get obstacles in that, okay? You are going through a huge transformation. I'm getting it, okay? Saturn, the south, I think it's South Node in Saturn. South Node in Capricorn is releasing this karmic... Uh, this could have been up 10 years ago, 20 years ago, even up to 30 years ago for some of you Aquarius out there. It's a transformation that you're going for from, okay? So from a caterpillar, okay, the caterpillar, you're going to a cocoon. And you are in this cocoon right now where it's dark, okay? And it's gooey in there and it's like uh, you feel like you're dying, okay? It's This is like metaphorically, okay? You're not really dying. It's that you feel whatever that's karmically, that uh, from past lives of people cheating on you, people hurting you, people backstabbing you, whatever the case is, opportunities missed, okay? Whatever it is, you are going through that and then you turn into a butterfly. But you're, a lot of you are feeling stuck. You're a lot in your mind you're thinking very negative okay there's a lot of negative because i'm getting a lot of like i have here very uh air energy and i get earth energy very strong okay so there is a process that you are going through okay and feeling stuck last card you got is the wheel of fortune but it's reversed right now that means it's in delay these are ending endings taking place and the delays taking place, new beginnings, and uh, Wheel of Fortune is a talk about luck on your side. And it could turn 50-50 on for some of you. But if there's something that's in delay here, and some of you are dealing with a um, a king or a queen of wands, okay, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. They always have the upper hand. This person, whatever it is, they have the upper hand. They're, but they're very, I'm not saying they're bad people because they're not bad people. Okay, everybody is different in that. But there's something about them, okay? Uh, they're not very clear as well, okay? There's not very clear. There's a lot of confusion around this, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out my other cards that I have here. And I'm going to start clarifying for you, okay? And let's see what's happening here. Why there's a delay. There is a delay that's taking place because there is completions taking place as well. But what's the most positive card here in the deck right now? is you have the star card, okay? There is a healing and a blessing that's around you and energy is coming, okay? But there's still a lot of releasing to be done. What are the messages here for Aquarius? There's one card that overturned while I was shuffling. I will show you the two of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. This is uh, two people coming together in harmony, uh, telepathically, and heart chakra. Okay, but I have to put it back in the deck. And if it comes on into your reading, so this is for Aquarius. Uh, from September 24th to the 30th, 2019. Let's see why the Seven of Sword energy here is here. Your reading is pretty much synchronized, I have to tell you. Um... You have the seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very strong. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So um, some of you need to heal. This is what they're showing me. There's a healing process that was not, that's not being done. Okay, uh, not at this moment because you're, there's a lot of things running through your mind. Again, I got a lot of air energy here. Okay, the four swords reversed. Uh, I also got the Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, this Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I have to mention the signs, but in energy, this is someone that is right now unstable, emotional. Um, you, know, you can't see things clearly. There's some kind of unstableness that's come, 
that's here at this moment, okay? Because of the Seven of Swords energy. But there is someone coming in towards you, okay? A Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, again, could be an energy. But there's someone coming in as a knight, not a king, but as a knight to offer you, offer you love, okay? Now, uh, why, what is the Six of Swords? A six of uh, six of uh, cups or energy. I know that the cards are not that great, but uh, this this is a process you're going. What's crowning you is a ten of swords, and this is good because it's an ending of an era, an ending of an era. Okay, of things that were not going right for you. So why is the six of cups here? This is what's crossing you right now. Okay, as above, so below. If you know what that means. I'm sure some of you do. Why is the Six of Cups energy here? Right now you have 66 here. The ship, your ships are coming in. Okay, you got the Three of Wands. This, uh, your ships are coming in. And this is long term. And what did I get? The Two of Cups. This is what's crossing you. There is someone coming in for you here. This is someone from your past. Could be, yes. Okay, and your ship is coming in. You're seeing the signs. You're holding the light for that person. Um, you're sending uh, tele telepathical um, messages to someone or someone is sending that to you, okay? And it's someone from your past, someone that was sturdy for you. Um, someone strong and grounded as well here. So there is that kind of energy here. Why is the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups here? What is this all about? Oops, these two cards came out. Again, it's an ending of a situation. You got, again, the Ten of Swords. You got it. what's happening to you now. From the Seven, you went to the Ten. Okay, this is an ending of a situation, an ending of an era, an ending which a new place takes place and healing is starting to work, okay? Because the light is shining through. Even though it's dark all around you, there's a light shining through and the healing is taking place. And a lot of you are going to be you got the Six of Swords upright. In the past, it was... Uh, in the past, hold on, I'll show you. In the past, it was reversed. And this now it's upright. So some of you are going to be moving away from this situation completely. Okay? There's an ending taking place. And see all these swords on the ground. You fought your battle. You won. Whatever it was, how hard it was. You're carrying two more. You're going to be dropping them. You're going towards the light. Some of you are going to be moving away from the situation completely. That took a lot out of you and some of you are going to be relocating moving or also going on vacation okay i do see that yeah. okay because they're showing me past and present right now okay so who is this two of cups energy Some of you don't want second chances with this person. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is reversed as well. Because the Wheel of Fortune, if it's upright, it could be about second chances. Some of you don't want second chances with whoever you you got dealt with, okay? You're done. It's done. It was a very long karmic, karmic relationship here. Especially it has to do with a child. If you have a child, if this has to be with a marriage and you had a child, one child... Your aunt, your child right now is going is is going through very unstable times as well, okay? Because of what's been happening in your household. This is not for all of you. This is from some of you. Why is the the, the page of Pentacles reversed? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> there's some there's some kind of offering, a missed opportunity or an offering that was here for you, again. This is the divine coming in, showing you this, okay? Uh, are you, you're going to be taking the offer. This could be happening also from uh, September 28th uh, in the new moon and Libra and so forth. This has to do with a uh, commitment, a marriage for some of you, okay? And a lot of you are reevaluating the situation. This could also be an institution. It could also be a job or a career change where uh, you're going to have stability and you're reevaluating your budget. There's something you're reevaluating, but there's some kind of missed opportunity. But there's something that's coming around here for you that's going to change things, okay? Why is the Six of Swords reversed in the past? Why is the Six reversed in the past? Okay. 
Oh boy. Okay, some of you were dealing with someone that was narcissistic. I'm just going to put it that way. Okay, very mean-hearted. Uh, someone that um, was always trying to find ways to manipulate you. Now, that's not for everybody, but this person is like very controlling, um, wanted things their way, manipulated you, scared you for some of you. And so this, for, for whoever this message is, you have left this, I know that some of you have left this person and uh, this person has been putting you through a lot. Uh, just know that you did the right choice, okay? Because uh, nobody needs to be with someone that's narcissistic, okay? Uh, you're working in details. You're trying to find ways to better yourself, to be more stable with your child, if this has to do with your child, for some of you. But whatever it is, this uh, this person that you were dealing with in the past, uh, it was not a good energy. I'm just going to put that there for you. And uh, now, why is the Ten of Swords crowning you at this moment? Ten of Swords energy. Why is it here? Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? Okay, some of you are right now are feeling this way. Okay, which is normal because you went through a lot. Okay, so you got the Five of Cups uh, with the Ten of, of Swords here. Um, yes, you're going through a difficult time now. You probably have a slight, slight depression, but you're coming out of it is what I'm seeing. Um... I know I don't like to say that because it's cliche, but the truth is, is that everything happens for a reason, okay? And you have to find a silver lining in that, okay? And But you will recover from this. This It does show me. But I'm going to take out more cards. Why is the Five of Cups here? With the sadness, you know? The Ten of Swords. Okay, this is over here. So, judgment is here. Some some of you had to make a judgment call. Some of you, some of you, you had you were forced to make a judgment call here, or it was taken upon you. Someone did that to you, or this also could mean that something is coming to you faded. But right now, whatever proposal, whatever it is, whatever situation is, whatever that crumbled, whatever maybe a household, uh, something that did not work out. Okay. Uh, this was this was the archangels that brought this to you because you can live a life like this because now there's someone new coming in okay and there's a knight it's a knight it's not a king but it's still a knight offering you love and this is a uh this is a uh, it's also sacred okay uh it's you're gonna get there's like a magnet between both of you okay so this there is someone new but i don't know if you're gonna be ready to take on someone new because this this type of healing has to take place as well as well you know and um and and, and another thing what i feel strongly is is like will you trust you know because like you have to do the healing process because right now you're still going through it so some of you haven't healed completely yet okay why is the i got the eight of pentacles twice here on the reading in the past and now uh, and it shows me here that the 88 is very strong. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Oh, well, look at this. You got the 10 of cups. That's beautiful. This is a commitment that's coming towards you. There's a commitment here. Okay. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting a long time. And and it also feels like you, it, there's, there's like stuckness, stale, something that's, uh, that's uh, stale. Like, not, like it, it, what's the word? Sorry. I'm trying to find a word here because um, they're showing me the picture, but um, stuck. Movement hasn't moved. In, but whatever the case is, Aquarius... You are manifesting this, and you've been manifesting this for a while because you've been seeding these, seeding uh, so like these seeds. Have, you've been planting these seeds for a long time, and you have all the elements here. And this is going to be sacred love that's coming towards you, or you're returning to unconditional love. 
But this is also sacred love, true love, in peace. You know, this is beautiful. Um, now, why is the devil card here? Why is the devil card here? Okay, they want to show me this, these cards. Okay. Patience is needed. Things have to unfold naturally. Something was forced too quickly for some of you. Um, yep. Yeah. Something had to unfold naturally is what they're saying to me. And there is a um, also a knight of, okay, of wands. Of, this could be a... Uh, such seriously or Aries coming towards you. Now again, it's a knight. This could be passionate love that's coming in. This could be two people coming in as well for some of you because I do see that you do have choices to make. And you've got also the Ace of Pentacles. Patience is needed for money, okay? Something about December and it talks about Jupiter in Sagittarius. So when Jupiter leaves Sagittarius, no, Jupiter. When said that, well, sorry, is there anyone? When said that Sagittarius leaves Jupiter in December and goes into Capricorn, this is what's coming towards you a blessing and money and opportunity here. Okay. Uh, this is a blessing coming in for you. Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? It's beautiful. I got the Ace of Pentacles, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. That's beautiful. Earth energy with water, things being in balance as well. And I got the Star card, which is a wonderful card too. Okay. You're feeling stuck. Again, the Eight of uh, not oh, sorry. This is the Nine. Sorry, the Nine of Swords. Not sleeping while at night. You have you're a lot up. You have a lot of thoughts, negative thoughts that are taking place for you, because you are waiting for a new beginning and finances here. I could see that. Okay. Why is the star card here with the nine of swords energy? A lot of negative thinking, which is normal because you went through a lot. I don't know who this message is for out there, but there's beautiful things coming for you, and you have to uh, have work on your patience, have faith. Okay. Um, Things will be okay. Some of you are dealing with a cancer or such. Terry says, if that's not the case, there's something that you are not, you're not taking control of. This could be a child that you're dealing with. with a, that's a water energy for some of you. That you have children here. There's something that you need to take control of and take the reins of, okay? Because uh, I see that uh, there's a, or for others of you, there's a friendship here for you. But you're not going for it because of what you're feeling. I understand you're going through a lot. But the divine, when there's endings, there's also new beginnings that take place. What does this have to do with? What does the chariot card and the page of cups have to do with? Wow, look at this. Justice is on your side, finally. Beautiful. Um... Rulings made in your favor, if this has to do with a divorce or child custody for some of you. Um, I see truth and integrity being spoken. I see balance being restored again. I see a lot of balance being... Some of you are dealing with a Libra, or if that's not the case, uh, this will happen in the month of October. Something is going to take place for you in the month of October. Okay, and why is the 8th of... Uh, okay, again, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Energy, feeling unstable, a lot of crying. See, not uh, because you're not, uh, you're, you're feeling stuck about a situation. Maybe this has to do with this person that there's no contact right now and no commu no communication. Um, what does the King of Cups have to do with? Oops, hold on. You got some of you are uh, feeling stuck or over analyzing a situation do to this person or you're this is in your energy that you're not feeling in your element this week 
you're hoping for the Wheel of Fortune. You got it twice in your reading. So these are second chances, uh, luck being on your side, uh, money coming in, being lucky, of course. Uh, so there is this element here that's taking place. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in the 10th position and why is it reversed? Yeah, something is not coming to fruition in the way that you want it. Okay, but this is in delay, okay? I really believe that it's in delay. There's, uh, you know, uh, some some of you are, something in October will change something for the better, but there's still some waiting period when it comes to money or a blessing that's supposed to be coming in. Uh, for others of you, these are creative ideas or just some type of tra transformation that you have to go through. It doesn't mean that you're not going to go through it. It just means that it's in delay. So why is the Empress when you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra? So why is the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress reversed here? Yeah. Uh, so you're dealing with a uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. This could be an opportunity for work. This could be uh, stable, some kind of unstableness that's taking place. Uh, something that uh, is in delay. And uh, this happened for some of you in the month of uh, September. Or you're dealing with Virgo energy. But what they're showing me in reality is that um, you need to go within and you need to find your light and you need to find your answers within yourself. So a lot of you are taking time out of everything. You're not getting involved in anything. Like you're not like you're just like in your little bubble at home and you are really putting a lot of inner work and following that light because there's a lot of confusion around you. You're not seeing things clearly. There's a lot of confusion. Uh, there's no communication. You're feeling left out of a situation, okay? You're feeling left out, okay? So uh, now, let's see why this uh, King of Wands is here. Yeah, there's no communication with this person whatsoever at this time. Communication has stopped. Why is the Father of Wands and the Eight of Wands reversed? Again, the Seven of Sword energy, okay? Someone trying to get away with something. And uh, there's some kind of victory here. Maybe this is you. That, uh, like if, you know, there's an upper hand here. If you're going to court for a situation. And if you are, there's going to be victory because divine timing is here. And there's not going to be any more fears around money. So this is a very, very positive. Okay. And give me one more card for you. One more card. The ending situation for this whole reading. Too many cards want to come out. Okay. There's also a need to be grounded, and I do sense that some of you are being pulled in many directions. Like I said, 999 is strong here. There's, all, there's a lot of endings and there's changes that are going to take place. And there is victory and you're going to be moving away from this situation once and for all. And a lot of you have been manifesting and it's coming in for you. But it takes time for others of you. Uh, October is here. October is like right around the corner, right? Yeah. Uh, three threes. A lot of threes here. A celebration taking place. And uh, if this has to do with a relationship, there's going to be stableness. If not, if this is what you're working with other people or you're teaching others or others are teaching you, I see that if you're working in a workplace, it's going to be great. Okay, a lot of cooperation, co cooperation uh, you know, getting along with, uh, with your community or in places of your work. Uh, but there's still a decision that has to be taken care of. There uh, still has to be a decision here for you, okay? So this is your reading. Now... Let's see in the oracle cards here. I'm going to take a sip of water. Cheers. Okay. For those of you that chose Archangel Michael, deck number one, your children are watched by angels. And your prayer is, dear guidance, dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so I know that the best way is to be a good parent and, and role model for my own and other people's children. And so it is. Positive thoughts create positive results. 
divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and my emotions are eternally and continuous, continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. And make a commitment from Archangel Michael. It says, Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. And so it is. Good luck for those of you that chose deck number one. Those of you that chose deck number two, they're saying some of you will need to compromise. I do see that. This compromise that you need to do. They're saying forgiveness and look for a sign. Good luck for those of you that chose number two and those of you that chose number three. You got this one here and it's friendship. Nurture the, the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Look with look inside yourself, they're saying. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. And you got this one here. Only time will tell. So for those of you that chose or love is Oracle, I wish you luck. And now we're gonna go with the crystals. What are the crystals for you this week? The first one you got here is called pre pre night. Pre-night and it's trust. Pre-night. Okay, this is green with white. This is a green and white crystal. And this is the heart chakra. It's related to the heart chakra. Pre-night is a soft and gentle energy with its pale green healing. Who's allowing a deep opening and healing on many levels. The healing vibration of the color green and the medicine of, of uh, pre-night encourage you to open the heart where you find a deeper place of trust for yourself and others it gently suits the wounds related to trust issues dropping deeply into the heart to connect to your own inner wisdom and strength and allowing you to trust in the flow and the divine universe what was the meaning of it number one deep connection with the heart of mother earth number two heals the deep inner realms of the heart. Number three, supports in the rebuilding of trust in a relationship. Number four, encourages, encourages you to believe in yourself and your dreams. And the last one, activates the wisdom of your heart and mind. And the message from the Crystal Diva is, you have called this card into your consciousness today because it's time for you to trust on a deeper level. We live in such a crazy world with many different perspectives and illusions. And at times it can be challenging to trust what is going on within and around us. The divas of pre-night are here sharing their healing medicine to assist you in gaining a deeper trust for yourself and those around you. Uncertainty may be surrounding you right now, but the divas remind you there is a divine plan and to trust in the flow of the universe. It is now time to trust in yourself and know that you will make the right choices for your highest good and that all is in divine order. You may also be experiencing unsettling issues around trust or unresolved hurts and betrayals may be resurfacing. Or you may feel a lack of belief in your own ability to make the right choices or decisions. Allow the divas to guide you into a deeper place of healing and let it all unfold as you embrace your pain and surrender, allowing transformation to take place. Allow the light of and love of the universe to flow through you as you step into the unknown with total faith and trust and expect amazing things to happen. Okay, so this you can meditate with this crystal, like I said, put an intention on it, carry it with you for the whole week. If you have if you have this, you could have you could uh, use it or in the cards. The next card you got is let me see if I could say it right. Rhodocorsite. Rhodocorsite? Rhodochrosite, Rhodochrosite, and it's acceptance, okay? Acceptance. And this is pink and white swirls, and it's a related chakra, is also the heart chakra. The medicine of this crystal, okay, we, uh, teaches you to accept all aspects of yourself and to learn to embrace yourself in all totality, to love yourself deeply right now and know, and now, uh, right now, 
right here and right now. Okay, let me just redo that one again. To love yourself deeply right here and now for all your tr traits, neg negative and positive. This crystal is uh, of the same family as malachite, but it's pink in color. Malachite is a powerful healing crystal on all levels, and so is his sister, this one, this crystal, which is rhodochrosite. Wow, big words. <laughs> it holds the healing energy of compassion, of the pink ray and others offers the medicine to all who cr cross its path. The crystal meaning number one is a powerful crystal for self-healing and acceptance. Number two, brings in the energy of unconditional love to assist in balancing, soothing, and healing the emotions. Number three, enhances self-love and compassion. Number four, supports those who are emotionally overwhelmed. And then uh, five, assists you to surrender and let go. And last but not least, assists you to become uh, more self-aware. This card has come into your life today to share with you that things are perfect just the way they are. Know that there are times in life when the best solution is to do nothing and accept things just the way they are. It's time to surrender and accept the situation at hand. This can be a challenge, a challenge, especially if you have your own agenda, expectations, or planned outcome. However, acceptance, acceptance can allow space for miracles to occur and this process can truly set you free. You are invited to work closely with the divas of this crystal to assist you in the healing time of acceptance. This card can also be a sign that you are being encouraged to find a deep place of acceptance for yourself, those around you, and your current situation. It is time to forgive yourself for your perceived mistakes and know that you are doing the best that you can do. To truly accept that that all is in divine order will bring about a state of inner fulfillment, peace, and deep awakening to the world. So you have acceptance and trust. These are the two crystals, and these are two heart crystals. Okay, this is for this week. Next, what is your animal spirit? You got the bee. Look how beautiful. Again, the heart chakra here, the green around. This is earnest hardworking, democratic. The B personality is a delight to be around, especially when there's a team project on the horizon. Bees love to work steadily and thoughtfully until the final task is complete. They are sensitive creatures, aware of many subtleties at once. Since they're artists at heart, they usually add creative details to the overall vision. For the most part, they have bustling, joyous, personalities until they're too tired from all the work then they are gr grief and then sting <laughs> okay so when the bee is in balance it, it uh, is content active and vibrant when it's out of balance it's overworked and annoyed and to bring it into balance it is, has to do with what more vacation so some type of vacation has to be take place here okay so this week this is what you have is the bee okay so now what does your soul want to tell you authentic truth number four okay stability here the, the truth will set you free so as long so long as you recognize this okay wait a second i'm going to repeat it i'm so sorry it's okay it's very late here the truth will set you free so long as you recognize there is more than one truth and that the answers you seek exist beyond the beliefs you hold now there are many truths in this world don't you don't have to believe them all just focus on what resonates with you if you must convince yourself of your beliefs they are not your truth your truth will always fulfill and satisfy it is unconditional meaning conditions don't have don't have to change for you to live and feel your truth there is no right or wrong but there is a cause and effect or action and reaction master yourself not everyone else's processes master yourself not every, someone else's processes when you change your beliefs your life changes to match it to do this you must be aware of how you feel okay how you feel sorry and foc uh, and practice focusing on what makes your heart sing not shrink when you align with your truth you will flow feel excited and believe an authentic life is possible if it is not your truth, you will resist, find it hard to commit and feel 
indecisive, okay? So, the actions are, number one, be aware of your feelings. Notice how it feels to be angry, loving, or hurt. Uh, number two, as you move through your day, notice what gives you a glow of happiness, okay? And um, number three, do things that feel truthful. If there's something you don't want to do and you must do it, find a way to connect it to your truth. Find a way that doesn't feel like a compromise. If you are not okay with the compromise, it may breed resentment and become a poison on you. And your journal work, if you would like to do it, is uh, picture yourself living your truth and not compromising. Write down three words that represent your truth and another three words that represent freedom. But I do see for some of you, okay? Sorry, if my nose is itching. When I, that's why I channel a lot, it itches. Okay, so I do see, because I, I, they were talking to me while I was reading. It was like so confusing. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> okay, it's a... Uh, so for some of you, okay, and all of you will have to compromise. There will have to be some kind of compromise because your life cannot be in this way. And the person that I'm talking to, you know I'm talking to you because you know me very well and you've been following me for a long time. And this has to do with your child, okay, because there's some kind of instability that's taking place here. There has to be a compromise when you go to court. There is some kind of compromise. It won't be a big, huge one, but it will be something that will bring balance into your life and you will need that. For others of you, this compromise that you're going to have to take will not sit well with you. And if it doesn't sit well with you, you will need to go within and find your answers within because they're not outside of you. They are inside of you, my beautiful Aquarius, okay? Just remember that. And uh, so I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Please uh, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Let me know if it resonates. Know that I have your back, and I'll see you again next Tuesday. Know that I love you, okay? Bye.